TCS viewers, we have uh, a very special guest today. We're here with Ryan Hetherington Keys, who's been a friend for a long, long time. Snowboarding photographer, commercial photographer, most regal name in the uh, industry, and a notorious <laughs> biker as well, very dangerous guy. Now, we're here at COP, and you know, we gotta say, great for COP letting us come here, they're gonna let us do this shoot. Um, why are we here today for COP, right? We uh, we're shooting next year's ad campaign. So it'll be for marketing, collateral, billboards. Very cool. Lots of pamphlets, magazine stuff. Now it's interesting because when we're shooting snowboarding, normally you're thinking like 10 frame per second cameras, 8 frame per second cameras, bursting off all these shots, you know. But today, I mean, you mentioned billboards. We're shooting large, large stuff. Yeah. We're shooting with the Pentax 645D today, medium format digital. Yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, we're running things a little different. Uh, even when I shot the World Cup last month, uh, I used another medium format camera. Cool. It was awesome. The images come out huge. Yeah, I mean, they're cool. perfect. When you're dealing with billboards, you're not doing the interpolation that you would if you're shooting 35 mil. Absolutely. With this, you're getting straight up files that can work the whole way. And we're gonna get color, we're gonna get detail, thin depth of field. I mean, this should have a very unique look to it, right? Way different than the 35 mil. Yeah, size. more more so than the, the advantage of having eight to 11 frames a second. You have detail, a depth of field, and fall off that you can't touch right. with with the regular 35 mil camera. Now a lot of people think you're crazy, right? Like I said, this is like a landscape tool, this is a studio tool. How are we gonna shoot high speed action in sports with this thing? Like what's the trick, what's the key? Lots of lots of years of timing, yeah. learning learning when. I mean, I, I shot back uh, snowboarding when it was manual wind film. So you get used to one frame a second <laughs> and having shot snowboarding for years, medium format, you just get used to it. You don't, nobody really runs sequences anymore because video quality is so high. Right. So, for what we want to do with the snowboarders and with their outfits so their sponsors get good crisp photos, you get colors that you would never see with you know, the big the big 335 mil guys. Very cool. Okay, well, it should be a very unique shoot today. We're going to get up on this hill. We're going to get uh, your assistant, Peter, to drag all of our heavy generators and lights up there and uh, should have a fun time probably, today. Probably six times what he wears. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. Let's get up there. Pick that back up, Peter. <laughs> Don't put that this down. Breaks. Here, Peter, I need you to carry this cable to here. Thanks. All right, so what we're doing here is uh, we're gonna keep the generator off to the side. We're using our sun today as a rim light and uh, basically can overpower it at 1,000 to 1,200 watt seconds per head. So we're shooting 2,400 watt seconds. They're gonna be six to 10 feet apart. It's gonna give us a good spread for when the guys, basically they're gonna be leaving the lip here and they're gonna be landing about two thirds of the way down. So at the apex, They'll probably be along this line, and depending on how how high they go or what they're doing, if they're spinning, they're going lower. If they're just in straight airs, they're going to be a little higher. So what we're doing here is we're getting Peter to help us set up with the stands and the strobes. Today we're running uh, Speedotron, the 2405 CX pack. Uh, this is what they use in the NBA and the NHL, hanging from the rafters because they have such a short flash duration, but they're still a really powerful light. They're also a workhorse. Uh, we're shooting here last year, 60K wins. One of these took about a 16 foot tumble. I just needed to replace the bulb and that was it. I mean, they, they have been to war and back. So they're, they're a great little kit. So we're gonna get set up here and uh, our crew should be meeting us here in about 15, 20 minutes. I've got my camera bag in the car. Like a perfect assistant. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter has saved the day because at 5.30 this morning packing my car, I decided to leave my Pelican at home with all my 35 mil gear and I forgot to take my little pocket wizards out of there. Okay. Uh, Peter, go! Hurry up, Peter, come on. Come on. We need you on the oh, boom ball. Okay, Ryan, so this is pretty cool. We've got your studio lights up, but we're gonna also try this as well. We've got the K5600 continuous lights. Yeah. Now, these are very high intensity, daylight balanced, constant lights. What, what can we do with these? Yeah, well, these, uh, these compact HMIs allow you to run Absolute continuous. Jeez, man, we got movie lights out on the uh, yeah on the, on the hill. It's awesome. It's uh, it's something different. You know, if you're shooting medium format, you might as well play around with everything else. While <laughs> yeah, you can. Just bring all the toys. Yeah. I have a lot of comments that most of my photos look fake because we tend to light the crap out of them. <laughs> so with a really strong rim light, but everything's still being balanced, it looks like people have been cut out and put in. So we just did a quick test with Chris, and it looks like someone green screened them right into COP.
Sorry, two guys just crossed over and almost killed each other just off camera. <laughs> He almost took my head off once, and uh, well, I got a good video of him here, but jeez, man, that kid's trying to kill me. All right, Ryan, so we moved uh, over to the half pipe here, and it's a bit different now because we've got the sunlight right on our snowboarders. We've got direct light hitting them. Yep. We're going to supplement that with the K5600. Yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of extra fill underneath them, help them pop from the sky. Very, very cool. And we Absolutely. switched to the uh, focal plane. Yeah, because we're so going with we'll, fast shutter speeds. Yeah, we're going to go right? as fast as we can, probably 4,000th of a second, real shallow depth of field. Just freeze these really guys sweet. right yep. in the air. Very yeah. cool. Older trick here. I'm overweight and I'm getting old, so I can't kneel as well. So to get our to get that wider look and to get lower to the snow and still have the safety of being able to move out of the way should Josh deck out, we're gonna shoot from real low. Uh, shooting with this all day, I've started to really trust the autofocus. So we're gonna give a couple shots here where I'm not even looking through the viewfinder, and uh, it's on the autofocus continuous, the AFC. So we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see how it does. So we're shooting from low, across the pipe deck, isolating the riders at the top. And uh, really, you know, I shoot a ton of 35 as well as medium, and you cannot beat the compression and the depth of field fall off you get with medium format, especially when you're shooting with a 300 and we're, we're maybe 60 feet across from them. And it is just, it's unreal. You get this completely isolated subject and just a soft painted background. You can't, can't touch it with 35 mil. All right, well, Ryan, thank you so much for taking us out. It was fun. We got a lot of good uh, footage, and uh, interesting to see you shooting a medium format camera for this kind of action stuff. I mean, pulled it off. Very, very cool, man. Yeah, it uh, it was surprising. It was a really solid unit. Uh, I mean, it's it's got the ability to focus fast, and in all the shots we did all day today, I think it dropped less than a battery, a full battery bar. Yeah, we had battery life like crazy. Yeah. Handled the cold, obviously, no problem. Yeah. I mean, just fantastic. Yeah, really good. And we should uh, we should give a shout out to Peter. Peter put up with a lot of today, and uh, he carried all our gear, and uh, I'm going to make him carry the rest of it down. But you're going to go for a ride, hey? Yeah, I'll yeah. See you at the bottom. I'll see you guys down there, so I don't have to carry anything, because apparently <laughs> I'm some sort of famous. <laughs>